Good morning, everyone. Well, it's not really morning anymore. It's like 1 p.m. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Saturday. It is a new week of vlogs. And today we are going to do the very exciting activity of hunting for fans. Welcome to adulthood. <laughs> So yes, today we are heading out to go shop for new ceiling fans. So this house came with two ceiling fans, right? Yes, two ceiling fans. We have this one and the exact same fan in our master bedroom. So our plan is to get a different fan for out here in the living room, put this one in the guest room, and then purchase two fans for each of our offices because when you live in Florida, you need ceiling fans. We've had that on our project list for a while. We're gonna go see if we can find anything. We've looked at Lowe's before and didn't like what they had. So we're going to a fan specific store. Appropriately shopping for fans on the hottest day I think we've had here so far. Maybe not. It was probably hotter than this in October. But it's like a good 85 degrees today. It's very toasty for February. Very, very hot. So I had the dogs outside playing for a bit and I actually filmed this clip of them playing this morning. You get that toy bean. You get it. Yeah. Don't be lazy, Colby. Wrestle. Get that toy. Get that toy. Oh. Oh, oh. I love that he just like puts it back in Colby's mouth. Like, okay, I got it now. Now play again. Tug of war again, please. I love tug of war. The top hat's gonna just rip right off. <laughs> oh, screw the toy, I'm going for your leg. <laughs> That's cheating, Colby. <laughs> I'll just eat, I'll just eat your body. How about that? Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just wrestle. Let's go full derps. Happy Saturday, everybody. The boys are having play times. <sighs> I'd love to let them do this outside, but if I open the door, all they do is foster goes and hunts lizards. So they don't actually do this outside, but they have fun with it. <laughs> Get him. Ash is like, whatever, man. Oh, your turn, Ash. You've been tagged in. Your turn. Till Foster gets jealous. Derpy boys. Hey, Ashton. We are not Obi-Wan. You did not take the high ground. No, sir. You must fight on the ground with Anakin. Mm-hmm, sorry. I took him outside to play for a while, now Colby's dead. It is so hot, Mom. I was not prepared. It is so toasty out there. I hunted lizards and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> so yeah, very warm today. So that's about the extent of our weekend plans. We purposely wanted a weekend with no plans just to kind of chill and relax. However, a very special person is in Florida this week and I might be able to go see her on Monday. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that one of my best friends is Jen from Happiest Vlogs. We met through YouTube. The first time we met was 2016 and then we really became friends in like 2017, 2018, we became really close. I haven't seen her since 2019. We were supposed to see each other in 2020. I had some big plans in 2020 and then everything happened and I was hoping to get to see her while she was pregnant. That didn't happen and now Gia is already September, October, November, December, January. She's already six months old. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm finally going to get to go see Jen and meet Gia, even though she's already six months old, which is wild. Um, almost six months old. 
she'll be six months old when I get to see her. As you guys know, I don't feel safe going into theme parks yet, but I'm hoping to be able to go meet them at the resort and just hang out with them at their resort, wearing masks, socially distanced, all that stuff, but I'm not gonna go in the parks yet. I just don't feel personally comfortable going into the parks yet, but I do feel safe driving to Disney and going to their hotel and just chilling with them outdoors, wearing masks, all that good stuff. So that's the plan, we're working on it. She's working on getting details from the resort as far as if guests are even allowed, and then if not, then we're gonna try to figure out another plan. But somehow, I'm gonna go see them this week, and I'm very excited for it. We've been dying to see each other for a long time, so can't wait to see her, can't wait to meet Gia, and uh, that's about the excitement for the week aside from work. So with that, I think it's time to go hunt for some fans. Also, today is cheat day, and I've had these saved to try for science on cheat day, so we're gonna have to try these out. Mike is very excited now because he went in the pantry the other day and pulled these out. He's like, oh, I'm opening these. I was like, no, they're for science. Actually, you slapped me. I did not. I was just like, no, not those. Those are being saved for science. You said that with your fists. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> See these bruises? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to say it. Okay. You see? These bruises. Oh, dang. That's from see? the same. See? Is that from the same incident? Mm -hmm. I didn't vlog about it, but is that two days ago now? Yeah, Thursday. Two days ago, uh, Colby slammed Mike into the wall. <laughs> I have them, in theory, trained. So they go out the door one at a time when you open a sliding glass door, otherwise they just trample you. But uh, Colby didn't want to do that. And so he just literally slammed Mike into the wall. So Mike has a little cut on his face and I guess a giant bruise on his arm from slamming into the wall as Colby took out his feet on the way out the door, so. Yes, this vicious creature. <laughs> this is why I have you trained not to do that because I don't want you taking out a grandparent in that fashion. Yeah. Anyway, time for, for science. Go and cheddar first because I don't want to singe taste buds if the uh, honey habanero is super, super hot. Don't, don't step out of frame. You're part of this. Yes, my hand is. No, 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 no. Oh God, I got a giant one. Extreme cheddar? Extreme. Wow, okay. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. They're extra crunchy mm -hmm. and extra cheesy. I mean, basically just a kettle chip. To no, they're extra kettle. They're kettle cooked, but they're extra, extra crunchy. So like a Cape Cod, Cape Cod, basically. Yes. Got a little, got a little zest to it. I like them. Mm -hmm. Like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have the honey habanero. The one that Mike was dying to try the other day. Mm -hmm. oh, it smells good. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Yep. Waiting to see what the spice level is going to cap at. Mm. I think that's going to build real fast because it's definitely. Tame, <laughs> he's going for it. <laughs> Just shovel him in. Tame for a single chip, like it builds and it's already going back down for me, but I think I'm just eating handfuls at a time. Like I was doing? Like you were doing. Mm. Those are both big wins for me. Yep. Definitely some of the best chips we've tried from Lay's in a long time. We've got a lot of duds. These are quite good. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting some Mr. Hummus to take home. It's supposedly amazing. And we're up in Brandon, so let's get it. Okay, so we are back home. Here's what we got. So I got the chicken kebab that comes with rice and pita and a nice little salad. Mike was supposed to get the Euro sandwich, but they gave him the Euro platter. I mean, it still looks amazing. And then we got the appetizer combo that comes with falafel. Some of the, um, I know what they call them in Greek. What do they call them in 
just the grape leaves, the stuffed grape tahini, leaves. Yeah, with tahini. Yeah. They're like dolmades in Greek. Tabbouli, balganoush, and hummus. They look super yummy. And look how sweet the gaming area looks now. With the LED lights behind the TV and the fireplace. Mm hmm. So, so cool. Love it. How good is that? So, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. I am in the office because Stitch Fix arrived and I've moved my mirror here and I think it's going to work. So, we're going to test it out and see if having the mirror there is a lot better than having it in the bedroom. Let's try it out. Fashion show time. Okay, so we're going into spring, summer, which means we're back to shorts and we're back to the struggle of Liz never finding shorts that fit. So these are super soft. I was very hopeful. Fit around the waist, not too tight. And then you get to here and it's so much extra fabric right here and on the side, like inches of extra fabric and so this is the struggle of my body type these shorts are supposed to actually be more like that style and you literally have to remove inches of it and they're a super stretchy material which means they just get looser with time it's about what they're supposed to look like so these are gonna be a no look at all that extra fabric if they fit like that I would keep them. They'd be great theme park shorts. They're definitely the right length. But yeah, just fit perfectly at the waist, not perfectly at the thighs. Welcome to my struggle. Here we have items one and two. It's nicely the top. I don't think I love it. I'm not really into the block with the stripes with another block. Not really loving this one and then she sent me leggings which I am not normally a leggings wearer however these are super super soft they definitely fit well and they're very opaque which is a good thing I just don't know I have to look at the price on them to see if I feel like they would be worth it also I already feel like I don't like the lighting on the back of the door so we're back to just having it propped up I didn't think it was gonna be too backlit but it looks like it's too backlit so here is this shirt to give it a more fair chance. The leggings. Like I said, if I was still having an office job, I'd probably keep this shirt for office wear. Every office I've worked in has been pretty business casual, so I could definitely wear this to work. It fits. I just don't really love the colors of the design. So not a keeper, but it looks fine. And if you hear a bunch of weird noise in the background, Mike is working on installing new... Uh, dimmer light switches so <laughs> he's like right on the other side of this wall right now but <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> there you go all right now we're talking <laughs> this one is a definite yes so if you remember last box I had a shirt that basically had this pattern on it this color and it was definitely like an office shirt well I was about to say this is a definite yes and I just noticed it's got like a a blemish on it. Hmm. I might have to see if I can get this one replaced because I love it. It's just this one's got like a snag on it. Love the color. Love the style. The back is just this plain material. As you can see there. Oh no. It's got like a mark on it. I'm probably going to try to get this one replaced if that's an option because I really like it and I really want to keep it and I love this color. This is the one we loved the pattern on last time. But it just wasn't the right size so fingers crossed they can make that happen because I love it. The longer I'm wearing the leggings the longer I'm really liking them so I think I'm going to keep the leggings too so <sighs> we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on what they say about this. Okay and this is our final shirt. This is the one she actually sent to go with the leggings and I love it. It's super soft, reminds me of the shirts I got from American Eagle earlier this season. Is it going to be cold enough to wear this in Florida again this season? I don't know. We're up to like 86 degrees today, 
but it's super lightweight. This is definitely something I could wear in fall in Florida if we don't get any more cold days. We could. It's still early. Florida does like to go back and forth during this time of year. So we could get another cool day. And this is plenty thin that I could wear it in Florida on a 60 degree day and be comfortable. So I love it. I think it looks really cute with the leggings. Big fan of it. So yes to this, yes to the leggings. I'm gonna see if they can replace the purple shirt. I'm gonna return the other two. So that is our Stitch Fix for March. Also, I think for the future, I'm just gonna do like this. I just realized I could just set up the camera there. I can look in the mirror myself and then film for you guys without having to film into the mirror. I'm a smart person. I'll just have the mirror in here so I get to see it first and have any notes on it because I can't really, I can see myself in the viewfinder from here, but I can't see the detail of the outfit. I think, I think that's going to be the solution because originally I was going to plan to put a big mirror in here and be able to film, but uh, we've run out of wall space in this room, really. I a spot for a big mirror and I really only need it for filming these, so if I could just film it this way, what's the point? So there you go. Uh, that is Stitch Fix March. I'm considering it March even though I arrived in February because it was like the last day of February. So Stitch Fix March looking good. She did a good job. She took my notes. I'm excited for three of the items. We'll see what they say and I'll let you know about customer services response on that one shirt. So there you go. Very toasty in Florida today. Chilled outside with the dogs for a bit. Let them chase each other around. They had some good time. Oh boy. And I am hot. This tile feels amazing. Thanks, Mom. They chased each other around the yard for a while. Bean did not want to come inside. He loves the heat. The other two came inside and were standing there looking at me like, Come on, Mom. It's hot outside. Come back inside. And Bean was just roaming around like, Nah. Don't want to come inside. Too nice out here. So I went ahead and did my planner again this week. Sorry, guys. Maybe next week I'll feel like filming it for the montage. But this is a Halloween pack, but I figured since it's the finale of WandaVision this week, it's fitting to do this little witchy one. The love potion made me think of it. So WandaVision themed week. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in, but there is my planner. Also an update. <laughs> I just spoke with Jen and I don't think I'm going to be able to go see her. We weren't sure what the rules were as far as guests visiting resort if you weren't staying at the resort and we kind of had a feeling it might be an issue and it's sounding like it's gonna be an issue. So she's double checking this evening when they get back to their resort to see if I'm able to visit, but I'd be able to go to the parks with them if I felt comfortable going to the parks, but I don't. So we were gonna do the resort and I'm pretty sure the resorts are locked down for just guests or people with reservations, and I don't have either one of those. It would just be going to hang out with them, and I don't think that's gonna work out. And they don't have any plans to do Disney Springs on this trip, so I think we're gonna have to wait to see each other until their next trip. As we discussed, it's Gia's very first Disney trip. I didn't want her stressing about trying to figure out a way to get me there. We'll see each other the next time. I live in Florida now. There's gonna be plenty more trips for them in the future. We'll see each other. We'll make it happen. And with everything still up in the air with COVID, I don't want her worrying about their first trip with Gia, trying to figure out a way to get me there. So if her resort says no, then we're just not gonna worry about it this trip, which is sad because again, we haven't seen each other since 2019 and really looking forward to meeting Gia because she's about to be six months old, but she might already be a year old by the time we meet each other. We'll see when they plan their next trip, but well, I'm not I'm not getting my hopes up anymore. I'm just like, probably not gonna happen. I'm letting those hopes die back down, but it's the way of 2020 and 2021. You just gotta roll with it, and eventually we know we'll see each other again and get to hang out, and I'll get to meet Gia and all that good stuff, so. Alas. Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon. I have come out to Publix. I am going inside again today. I don't like to come on the weekends because it's usually pretty busy, but I have to pick up my prescription today. So I have to go inside because I've got new insurance. So that is the fun of every year getting new insurance. So new insurance means 
Gotta go inside, pick up my prescription. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a few groceries while I'm in there. Don't need too much, but just a few things. And I already pre-ordered some pub subs for us to pick up for our meal for the day, so yeah. So since I always film the quirks of our other two dogs, this is one of, this is one of Colby's quirks. So he's done this as long as we've had him, where when Chewy gets delivered, he lays with the boxes. Chewy is the company that we order their food from. So it's their bags of food in there. And he will spend the rest of his day laying, watching the food boxes, making sure they don't go anywhere, guarding them until we open them and put the bags of food away. He's not possessive really over anything. He will like defend his toys if someone tries to take his toys, but he's not really possessive about anything. But he will guard some bags of food like nobody's business. And he'll just lay here. Just brought them in, put them there, came out, and there he is. Just making sure nothing happens to them. Gotta watch them, Mom. Make sure no one takes them. Oh, yeah. I'm telling your stories. Everyone's gonna know. He's our food protector here. Gotta make sure no one comes in that door and steals his food. No, no, no. You gonna come sit with me, Supervisor Bean? Come on. Mom's going back to work. You joining me? Come on. Come on up. Come on. You can fit. Usually you don't wait for an invitation. Come on up. I'll just go back to work and I'm sure he's gonna jump up here any second. There he is. <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew it. I knew you were gonna join me. All right, my back warmer has joined me. Now I'm going back to work. My neighbor's landscapers are here. So now Foster is supervising the landscapers. Are they doing a good enough job, Bean? Keep an eye on them. I think we're gonna hire them to do ours. <laughs> so you let me know what you think. They're doing a good job. Aww. He's tough. He's tough being a supervisor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> late on Monday, well not late, it's like 4.30, but I'm still sitting here waiting for final approval to submit the three grants. They are all good to go. I'm just waiting for the okay to hit send. So I'm already editing Then Lizzie, getting a head start on that since so I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for my boss to go, yes, send them in, and then I'll be done for the day. So that's what we're doing, chilling. Do you think I like succulents? <laughs> wallflowers that I have up in the house all the time so I thought I'd show you what I'm switching out to for my spring scents because it was time so in the guest bathroom there's going to be Tiki Beach in my office there's going to be snowy peach berry I know it's snowy but it's peach it smells like spring in the kitchen I'm going to use limoncello and then in our bedroom I love saltwater breeze I love any of the ocean scents for our bedroom so that's gonna be our current lineup of wallflowers and look who's back to guarding his chewy they just had dinner they went out and now he's back to guard his boxes update two hours later he's still there <laughs> so tonight we are having salsa verde enchiladas from hello fresh i am looking forward to these there we have it, the final product, the enchiladas, they look quite good. Colby's guard is ending, he's still keeping an eye on it. So I just let them out to pee and Colby was the first one back inside and went running down the hallway to make sure it was still okay since he left it for a couple minutes. So Mike's opening them now. And then he makes sure he's right there, watching Dad's every move with the precious cargo. <laughs> Where is he going? All right. Now you know where it is. It's safe in there. It's safe now. Your guard can end. 
Their guard is over. Their guard is over, Colby. That's it. Now you can live your life again. He's like, wait, 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 wait. I must check boxes to ensure. No, it's empty. It's empty. Okay, welcome back to the world, Colby. Oh my goodness, this dog. Can I avoid being ground beef? Uh, oh, oh. Goodbye, I'm ground beef. I have... <laughs> All right. I am ground beef again. I cannot get that jump. I either jump too high or jump too low. It's it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. Uh, is it the same as the other one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Learning new, oh, I'm in a passageway. Did not know I was there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Did you go in here? Look, go in here, look, look. Hi. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. <laughs> Time for Star Wars. Trash compactor time. Oh my god. What's left? What's left? I don't see anything left. Oh. Well, goodbye, Cruel Worlds. It's been great. We are chopped liver. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> yeah, that would have saved me. That would have done it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like you're all there. I don't need to kill you anymore. So hey guys, it is Tuesday evening and I don't think I've vlogged anything except for gaming today as far as regular vlog. <laughs> Took it easy because I had such a hectic day yesterday with work. And so I kind of took the day to mentally recover <laughs> from yesterday on all the grants. So didn't really do much aside from catch up on some house stuff and some YouTube today. And then we picked up dinner from Moe's and I realized I didn't vlog that either. <laughs> all I did was vlog gaming with Brittany and Jordan. So I'm talking quietly because Mike's already gone to bed. It's about 11.30 now. And I figured I'd at least say hi. I did my makeup and everything today. And then didn't film anything except for the Thin Lizzy. So, hi, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Rocking out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I just came out to the post office. Looks like we had some Bones coffee waiting for us. We'll have to see what flavor that is when we get home. Speaking of coffee, I'm stopping by Duncan. And I don't know what I'm going to order because my twisted coconut is gone already. <sighs> Duncan, why you keep doing this to me? <laughs> why? Today I decided to try one of their new items, which is the Charlie Cold Brew, Cold, cold Foam, cold, the Charlie Cold Foam Cold Brew. This is what it looks like. Charlie is a TikTok star. That's literally all I know. I know that she's, I think, a high schooler. She's very young and she does TikTok dances. That's literally my knowledge of 
Charlie. But she has a Dunkin' drink. I assume she drank cold brews a lot on her TikTok or something, so Dunkin' made a drink after her. And now Dunkin' is introducing cold foams to their cold brews, you know, getting on that Starbucks bandwagon. However, whereas at Starbucks they make it fresh, they have the blenders, they blend cold foam themselves. At Dunkin' it comes in a can, it looks kind of like whipped cream when they put it on top. But let's go ahead and test it out and see. I believe it has caramel swirl in it and then it's cold brew and then it has the cold foam on top. So, and it looks like maybe cinnamon on top. Mm, okay, it's very sweet. Does not surprise me that that would be a teenager coffee drink, but slightly too sweet for me. So I don't think it would be a regular thing for me. I might take out some of the pumps of caramel. I think that might be a little too much with the cold foam on top. Very tasty. I don't regret getting it, it's very good. I would just modify it a little bit the next time. But this, the medium size, had the same amount of calories as my Twisted Coconut Iced Coffee, 250 calories for this. For it to be this sweet and 250 calories, I'm kind of impressed. If you like sweet drinks, give it a shot. Ooh, so here's the new Bones Coffee from, I have to assume it's from Jennifer. Oh my goodness, I love cannolis. Mike loves cannolis. I'd never really had a cannoli until I started dating Mike and obviously he's Italian so I had cannolis for the first time and oh my goodness I love cannolis so I am super excited for this one. We're definitely gonna make this probably not tonight because we're both having coffee right now but probably tomorrow night. I'm very excited. So Mike wasn't feeling hungry tonight so I'm kind of just throwing together some sort of Food. And so I got these pita breads the other day to go with the leftover hummus and baba ganoush that we had from our cheat day on Saturday. So I'm gonna have one pita. I've got it toasting right now, so that's 60 calories, which pleasantly surprised on the calorie count on these. That's fantastic. And I'm not gonna show it because it looks not fantastic because it's been picked over, but there's hummus and baba ganoush in here. So <laughs> I'm gonna have some hummus and baba ganoush to go with it. So I figured that uh, my other favorite weekly vloggers ears to Disney and that Florida guy. They're watching all the ghosty shows and I feel like I need to jump on that bandwagon and also watch ghosty shows because I'm someone who likes ghosts. Well, not like real ones. I don't want like, that's not an invitation. That's not an invitation for ghosts to come visit or anything. I just, I like Halloween. <laughs> I like Halloween Horror Nights. I like spoopy things. I should be watching ghosty shows. So I'm gonna start with this one. Definitely need some guidance. Scary Becca, Dan and Don, tell me which shows I need to watch, which seasons I need to find. I don't have Discovery Plus yet, but I might get it. So for now I'm watching Hulu. I'm starting with this because I'm pretty sure Don's mentioned this one before. So ghosty show right before bed. Seems like a great idea. When you decide to watch a ghosty show and a dog just starts Randomly wandering through the house, sniffing things as if he heard something. Why are you doing this to me, Colby? You're freaking me out. I'm pretty sure he's just triggered because Mike went to bed and so he wants to go to bed and he wants me to go to bed. You heard those words, didn't you? Well, you already went O-U-T. We already went through that process, so when it's time, we just go to bed. But I think he wants to go through that process again. So he's being a stinker right now. Good boy, you just chew your chew. Chew. Oh my goodness. Oh, you dropped it. You left a fully charged battery. Now what? With the spirit of an African American man has been mm, Oh no. I'm about to check if the battery might have been drained. Oh no. Let's see what. Oh man, you're cracking me up. Cracking me up, little pup. Cracking me up. Exactly the same. Go back to sleep. Don't spook me out. I'm watching spoopy shows. Okay. Okay, now you intentionally wearing the toy like that? <laughs> or did it just. <laughs> Kind of happen. <laughs> Hi, boys. So, hey guys, happy Thursday. Have I filmed anything for this vlog yet? I don't know that I have. <laughs> but it's Thursday. I've 
done my workouts, I've had lunch, I went to Publix and got stuff for Sunday because Sunday is my dad's birthday and we're gonna go over to my parents' house and celebrate his birthday. And so I needed some items for that because I'll tell you more about that on Sunday. <laughs> if you follow Disney news on Twitter or probably any other outlet, then you likely saw that yesterday there was a big hoopla over the fact that they changed the Epcot entry with the flags are up with all the original pavilion logos on them, which I love. I love the new fountain. Still have a very heavy heart that the Fountain of Nations is gone and I'm dreading the day I go to the park for the first time and don't see that. I do love the new entrance. I love the flags. I love the new fountain up front. Just the entrance is everything an Epcot lover would want, I feel like. So I love that. And then they went and changed the entry music. So I'm gonna sit here and listen to the list for the first time. Someone sat there and shazammed all the songs or at least a good portion of the songs. I don't know how long they sat there and if they got through the full loop and this is the full loop, I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna give it a listen and see how I feel. My first impression based on the little clips I heard was a little bit of a disappointment, no shock, Epcot is my park, right? So I am super nostalgic for Epcot music. And there's certain songs that are just Epcot to me. So I don't know if those are still throughout the rest of the park and just not in the entry loop. I'm really not sure. There's a particular song that I'm humming in my mind right now and I just really hope it's not gone. I would be so sad if it's gone. I hear that one a lot. From, from the Energy Pavilion. I know it's really torn up right now and that's why I didn't go in fall of 2019 because I was like, it's really torn up. I'm gonna give it a break. Um, let it have some time to get back to somewhat normal and then obviously everything happened and so it's gonna be a long time before it's somewhat normal. And so obviously I'm going to see it in transition. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go three years without seeing it if I can avoid it. Um, and then next year's already the 40th anniversary, which is nuts. It's really starting to to dawn on me how long it's been since I've done these things that are my absolute favorite things to do. And not knowing how much longer it'll be before I feel comfortable going and just being so ready to go back. I'm so ready to go do all the festivals, try all the food, go on the rides and just be back at my happy places and enjoying living so close to them again. Sorry, I'm up here, I'm up here dancing to my own music. No worries, just, all right, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. Go. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> The difference between us. There's Brittany shivering. More music. <laughs> All right, well, my fun's over. Are you still hearing music? You're dancing. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's because I think Jordan left the room. Could you guys not hear me that entire time? Ah, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 my, I guess I turned off my head. So tonight we're having nacho inspired crispy crust chicken from HelloFresh with green bell pepper rice and traditional fixins. I took off the G on fixins. Let's do it. Looks so good, I'm very excited for this one. I'm trying to edit Thin Lizzy. <laughs> and Foster's decided he wants to be with me. Dad's already in bed. 
but Bean wants to be with me, so I guess I gotta go get you a blanket, huh? All right, let me get you a blanket. Now he's happy and I can finish editing in peace. I'm a silly boy. So hello everyone, happy Friday, TGIF. I'm in the office getting some work done, but we had two very exciting announcements this morning. So first of all, yes, my supervisor is here, just making sure I get my work done. And I actually have a second supervisor, but he's much lazier. Colby's asleep on the floor behind him. <laughs> so that's why the door's open right now. I'm letting the dogs hang out in here because Mike has a bunch of meetings today and they get antsy if we're both locked in our offices. So letting them hang with me for now. Let's talk about these announcements from this morning. So first of all, this one's shorter. So first of all, my high school bestie, Sarah, messaged me on Twitter and she was like, have you seen this? And it was a tweet from Turntable that they might be resurrecting the site. So if you aren't familiar with Turntable, Turntable was a music listening site, a social music listening site that existed from about 2010 through the very end of 2013. I used it at work all the time because you could pick a themed room that you wanted to be in. People created their own rooms and then people took turns DJing. So there was a DJ stand. I'll put a picture of what it looked like here so you can visually get the idea but there'd be five people on the DJ stand and what room you were in, how popular it was. Sometimes you could just jump right up and start DJing when you walked in. The room I was part of was an 80s and 90s music room and it was pretty popular. So we had a waiting list. You signed up for the waiting list when you came in the room. Everyone would take turn DJing. Sometimes we would have like a two song limit and you got to play two songs and then hop off. Depended on the day and how busy it was. But the 80s and 90s music room on turntable is where I met Mike. So it was, like I said, a social music site. So everyone took turns DJing. So you kind of got the feel of their taste for music. And then there was a chat room associated with it. So everyone talked with each other. And our particular room was so much fun. It was definitely full of fellow millennials about our age group who just loved 80s and 90s music. So we made quite a few friends in that group, I think. Oh, did I vlog that trip? <laughs> if I did, I'll link it, but I don't think I vlogged that trip. But Obviously I met Mike on there. We met in May, 2013 and started talking through the private messenger on turntable, became friends, got each other on Facebook, started DMing each other on Facebook. Instead of Skype, we used Google chats, but we essentially Skyped with each other and eventually decided to meet up and we've been together ever since. So we also had a group of friends in the chat room and just by chance, a good portion of our group all happened to live in Texas. So a lot of them were in Austin. So we did a meetup. We called it Taco Con because we had a whole thing about tacos in our 80s and 90s music room. So we had Taco Con in April 2014. Yeah, April 2014. I don't think I've vlogged it, but we went to Austin. We met up with, I think, five other people from the chat room. They were all from the Austin area. We had a whole weekend with them. We had a blast. And I have a friend, Liz, who is my twin because she loves Epcot. She lives in South Florida. We've met up at Epcot. We did some Halloween Horror Nights houses together uh, 2019. So she and I have met up a few times and just we have some really good friends that we made on that website and it was just a very special environment. A unique setup where you just met people that were very like-minded because they're about the same age. We love the same music. It just was very unique and we loved it. And today or yesterday they announced. There's two different versions. I'm a little confused if there's two different groups of creators from the original site that have branched off. There's turntable.fm, which was the original, and then there's turntable.org. Now they have waitlists for both sites. I'm going to join both waitlists and we'll see what happens. Our TacoCon chat group is all like back and active today. I was super excited. I mean, we've kept in touch through Facebook and social media, but it'd be so exciting if we could all reunite because the site shut down in I think December 2013. Impeccable timing for Mike and I, I think we met when we did because the site shut down that December after we'd only been together for like four months. Wild. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that comes back because it was so much fun. I'd love to be back in Turntable these days, especially since I work from home. Like I, I'm listening to Spotify anyway. I could listen to Turntable and chat with people while I'm working. I would love it. That was the first exciting announcement. 
the second one, which is more relevant to all of you, is that Halloween Horror Nights announced their first house, which is technically their second house for this fall. So last fall, they announced Puppet Theater Captive Audience. That would be a house for this fall. So we already know that house for sure. And then today they announced that Beetlejuice will be back for Halloween Horror Nights 30 this fall. So that was a big announcement. We got a little, like a little teaser video about it. We got the starting date, which is September 3rd. I could probably film a whole video about this, but I think I'll wait a little longer. <laughs> I think we're gonna see a return of all the houses from last year. Everything that we suspected was gonna be a house, I think is going to be a house, with the exception of the Billie Eilish house. The Billie Eilish house is gone. That one got torn down, so. I assume there's an issue with the rights going from one year to the next and that one is canceled for sure. The rest, as far as I am aware, are all still intact. And so in theory, probably nine of the 10 houses that we thought we were getting last year, we're getting this year. But I will do a speculation video about everything else coming somewhat soon. I don't know when, but somewhat soon. We'll do our first Halloween Horror Nights 30 speculation video. Now I'm ready to get my vaccine so I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that shot so I can go to Halloween Horror Nights 30. I'm so ready for some normalcy, even if I'm, I mean, obviously I think we're still gonna be wearing masks and it's still gonna be different, but once I'm vaccinated, I'll be there. That was today's exciting announcement. There was also a tagline on it, which was never go alone. I'm not so jazzed about the tagline. I think it's a little weird considering everything that's going on in the world, like social distancing, Stay away from other people. Never go alone. Come in massive groups. <laughs> Just a little weird. And it's a weird tagline for a big anniversary year to be never go alone. I, I don't know. I was expecting something different. But I'll go into that again in a Horror Nights related video. But exciting, exciting, exciting things are happening. Things are starting for Horror Nights. And oh, the withdrawals are real from Epcot from Horror Nights, from Universal, from just everything that would be normal life. The withdrawals are really hitting hard and I cannot wait to be back in the parks enjoying all of my favorite things. All right, so we weren't feeling the HelloFresh meals that we had for tonight. So I'm gonna have a little turkey wrap. I'm gonna try to make it into a pinwheel. We're gonna see what happens, but I've got one tablespoon of mayo, some cheddar cheese, some turkey, some lettuce, and some avocados, and some very interested dogs. So now I'm gonna try to roll this and see if I can turn it into pinwheels. We're gonna find out. It's a little bit of a mess, but I did successfully get it to pinwheel. <laughs> Don't know if it was necessary, but it's fun to eat pinwheels. So hey guys, it's Saturday and I forgot to end the vlog. So last night I ended up watching the very last WandaVision and it was super good. That's what I spent the end of my night doing and I really love the series even though I'm not the biggest Marvel fan and I had to Google the mid-roll scene to find out what that meant because it went right over my head. But I really enjoyed the series as a whole. A little tied me over until we get something else on Disney Plus and it did make me want to go back and watch some more Marvel movies so maybe I need to get through that eventually, maybe someday. <laughs> so. That's going to be it for this week's vlog, but I'll see you guys again next week.